One in five U.S. adults are affected by mental illness each year. One in 20 adults experience a serious mental illness each year. For youth ages 6 to 17, 1 in 6 experience a mental health disorder each year. 50% of all lifetime mental illness begins by the age of 14. About 75% of the individuals who experience a lifetime mental health disorder experience symptoms by the age of 24. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for people age 10 to 14. My name is Siomara Bridges Mata, and I'm the executive director of NAMI Pinellas. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. NAMI is a nonprofit, a peer led community based organization, and we are dedicated to supporting families and individuals that have been affected by mental illness. And we do that through education, support, and advocacy. For over 36 years, NAMI Hanelis has been dedicated to supporting individuals and loved ones who have been impacted by mental health conditions. Each year, we serve up to 4,000 individuals with direct support in education, support, and community-based events. So we are there to guide the community to those resources to navigate some of those challenges. I am affiliated with NAMI Pinellas and NAMI Florida, and we are here for the NAMI Walks event. NAMI Walks is our yearly fundraiser that is how we raise money to invest in the community, and this is a huge one of those events where we celebrate each other. Even though I had been going to therapy and a lot of other things, I, I was really missing the connection, and NAMI helped me get community connection. Some of the things that we find our um, individuals are experiencing right here in Pinellas County are long wait lists. Barriers to treatment include inability to afford treatment. Um, also, there are times where our political climate can impact the services uh, that individuals need. Those who are identifying as LBGTQ plus find it difficult to access services with providers, as well as those in the black and brown community. So what we try to do is make sure that we are including and that we advocate for the inclusivity of diverse practitioners as well as support groups to support those in need. So some of the most common um, symptoms for mental illness can really be things that are daily behaviors that kind of start sneaking in and, and you may not notice right away it's not going to be a very clear switch um, but it can be things like changes in mood, changes in appetite, changes in just daily routine. People could start demonstrating withdrawn and antisocial or seclusion you know behaviors. It's kind of their way without knowing of asking for help and not knowing either how to say it or not knowing they need help and it's those little small micro behaviors that are really the first symptoms so it really takes kind of knowing someone and being very you know adept to identifying those changes to ask and say you know hey is something going on can I help do you want to talk if you are somebody that is thinking about maybe getting some support through NAMI and you are deciding whether or not to make that call, I would say nothing beats a failure but a try. Every day I get to witness the impact that NAMI has on the Pinellas County community and beyond and it is just truly gratifying to, to see the work that we do in real time. At NAMI Pinellas, we are changing lives and reminding people that they are not alone and that mental health should be accessible for all.